What a beauty. This is the stripper. Coopers, the stripper that gets it off every time. This is a e type Jag. Today we're going to be stripping this bonnet. The paint looks lovely. What's wrong with it? It wasn't painted that well. So I stripped a piece here last year and check out the bog. Wow, how thick. I mean, it's mega thick and it's got moisture behind it. This is the stripper. This is where spraying is amazing, it's getting into all these fins. So even though I'm spraying what appears to be a lot of product, I mean so far I've only used a couple hundred mil, or actually 150 mil. A lot of squirts to put a litre of stripper on. It's good temperature today where it's overcast, it's not too hot, not too cold. You wouldn't have this out in the direct sun, but you'd lose a lot of product to, to evaporation. You don't have to like, like sand it first or put it on and wrap it in plastic or any of that sort of stuff. It just absorbs in on its lonesome. It doesn't need any help. This is a tungsten blade. I've taken the tips off with a diamond file. Because if I drag along there, I'm gonna put gouge there and there. So when you're doing these sort of areas here, you're going down the other way. So, so you just be mindful of where the curves are. So I'm just gonna scrape away. This is a European steel wool. It's very long stranded, sharp, doesn't crumble like normal steel wool which you'd use. On there, so it's pretty straightforward. So what we're doing here is we're stripping on again, steel wool scrubbing through the spray putty. There's still some there, but we'll put on some more stripper and while we're carrying on with the main part. We'll just, this will just keep softening. That's where there's been some repairs done, you can see all the grinder marks. So all this stuff we're taking off is, is putty. There's no longer paint. Spray, wait, keep it wet. Yeah. Let it dissolve like this and then scrub it. Because the putty's not going to bubble like sand enamel paint. Yeah, so that smell is completely uninvasive. See, I've got asthma, it's not affecting me at, at, at all. You're just out there, my man.
And so the last part we've been doing is stripping fillers. So a lot of people want to know if it'll strip filler. Well, the no, answer is yes. So we call these a, a detail brush and because we're doing the detailing with it. We get asked too, Simon, what is it like on the rubbers? It will soften them over time. What about the glass? Glass is, um, again, it's fine if it's glass, if it's got a, um, like a cellophane sheet over the top of it, and then it'll remove that as well. So this is a grit embedded pad. It's like a nylon type weave, um, and it's got these um, grits embedded into it. And the idea, and we've basically taken everything that's off the surface with the procedures leading up to this. When you've created a bit of a slurry, get it off onto the rag, it means you're gonna use less of our rinse part that's coming out next. This is a slow drying solvent and its job is to remove residues. So we're using a clean pad. So we use a slow drying solvent because we uh, want time to work with it. If you use lacquer thinners, one that stinks and highly flammable, um, but it dries back the uh, residues. But with this, you've got a bit more time to work with it. So the stripper you put it on, you leave it on, the flush you don't. The flusher is a, you're, you're spraying it, and you're scrubbing it, you're spraying it, and you're wiping it as you go. And it's easy while the residues of all of that paint and stuff are still soft. Dead yeah, right, good point. The, you don't do the splashing tomorrow because the residues will have all dried back in hard, and now you're going to use more flusher and more elbow grease. So if there was a surface that you strip that has absolutely no damage it needs repairing, then technically when this dries, it's ready for painting. Shiny fins. Well, it's all work, 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 and then all of a sudden, it's done. Simon, show us the amount of paint that's a vomit. Ah, yes. It. Ice cream container full. Let's see in that, get it more this way. Oh. Ah, that's better. Really I want you to well. bring that across to me. Yeah. Beautiful job. Are you looking for a stripper? A stripper that really gets it off? Cooper's, the stripper that gets it off every time.